phones. Anyway, so I do all my videoing on my really crappy uh, Samsung AE10 or A10EA something or other. And um, it's, it's, it's all broken and taped. <laughs> I haven't wanted to deal with Samsung again and try to get um, this phone replaced. So, and I'm trying to make more videos now because uh, I need the money. And um, so what I'm doing is, uh, oh, yesterday, I wanted to tell you about my amazing adventure to pick up that new engine. It's not new, but it's uh, got 123,000 miles on it. I know, I know, whoa. This is why I never like to use this is my old selfie stick that Maggie bought me for my first videos, but every time I tried to use it, it would just like fall over because it's very flimsy. So I bought a nicer one, but I think it fell under the bed and I haven't been wanting to retrieve it. So, um, yeah, so I want to tell you about my uh, van engine pickup story. It was scary, okay? I start up the uh, van and it's like... <laughs> You know, that's the way it sounds. And uh, because uh, out of six cylinders, three are shot. And so I take this van, <laughs> this poor little van, little, full of heart, workhorse, little powerhouse van. And I drive an hour to go pick up an engine. Then to add insult to injury to this poor little van, and I'm starting to talk to it, okay? I said, listen, little guy, you're my man now, and I need you to work out for me. I paid way too much for you. I've got way too much into you, and I'm not going to gripe about that. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make you right and to bring you back to your former glory. I said, you just keep going. We gotta go pick up an engine, then we gotta drive it to the mechanic. So it's one hour to get the engine, load up the engine in the back of your poor little body, and then we're gonna take it to the new mechanic and drop you off. And that's where my van is now, at the mechanics. So it was an hour there, an hour back. So when we finally got to the salvage yard where my engine was, new engine, new to me engine, uh, it just stopped. <laughs> it just, it died, okay? And I'm like, it's the end. But I started up again and it was not the end. And then when I went, uh, finally the engine was cleaned up and ready to go, I uh, went to start it and it started again. But it was fighting, you know, it was fighting, and it kept wanting to stop, but it just kept going, and there's so many lights on the way home, red lights, and it was really rough. It was a rough ride. I was just talking to it all the way. You can do this. I'm going to do this to you and that to you. You're going to be so beautiful when we're done. You're going to be a handsome boy. Don't you worry about this. I got you. And we made it. And it stopped again. But that's a little workhorse, and I bet you would go a thousand miles more. But I ain't taking that chance, and I don't want to push that poor little thing. So a decent engine's going in it, and it has a 90 day warranty, though I don't know what I'll do if that one, you know, goes kapooey. I don't know. So I'm hoping for the best and I'm going to embrace and accept my challenges. There's no other way. So I just wanted to tell you about my van adventure. Got my engine. I'm a happy girl and uh, it should be done in four or five days and I may take it on an excellent adventure. Uh, I'll have my AAA card ready to go. And uh, I get uh, four 100 mile tows. I didn't get the 200 uh, because the, it made more sense to get 400 total miles tow. But of course you can only do one at a time. So I might like take a 100 mile journey and uh, then 100 miles back 
and see how it runs and how it is doing. And I may do that several times before I head out on my grand adventure. Now, Bonnie wants me to come up to North Carolina to see her new apartment. She would just love if I could come. So I think that's going to be part of my grand adventure before I go broke. And, uh, yeah, why the heck not? I get a few other things I can sell. I kept back some things that uh, Dennis left me. And uh, see how that goes. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Now i got to call my daughter Rachel because she just called me. I saw it up on the screen, and, uh, you know, I've been very worried about her. I, I love her with all my heart, and I just want her to be all right. Yeah. She's having more health problems, you know. Talked about her heart attack. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I love you all. I love those of you who have compassion for me and care about me and want to hear my story. And that's why I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here so that you can know, no matter what happens to you, never give in and never give up. Bye.